Hey, it's Ricardo from Fireside Weekenders, and today we're going to be talking about the new compartment locks by Latchet that they sent over to us. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can get the special Fireside promo code available on all their products. Many people don't realize that most RV storage compartments use the exact same key. Don't believe me? Grab your storage compartment key and look at the back. If it says CH751, that means I can use the same key in your RV storage compartment and you can do the same thing with mine. I can even probably crawl in, maybe not me, but somebody smaller, can crawl in, get inside your RV, and they have full access to anything that they want of yours. Still don't believe me? Let's go ahead and take a trip to a local dealer where we're gonna try our RV key on those storage compartments. So we're here at a local dealership and we're gonna test the theory with the 751 key. All right, so as you can see, we had no problems getting into those compartments. So now that I showed you why you should change these out, let's show you how to change them out. We recommend these Latchet cam locks for many reasons, security being the biggest one. Latchet offers these 100% metal locks in three different sizes, 5 8 7 8 and 1 and 1 8 They're also offered in a pack of two or five locks key to like. Like their other products, these locks come with the Latchet lifetime warranty. These locks can also be used for so much more than just your RV, like toolboxes, cabinet drawers, or whatever else you have in mind. And because it uses a cam key, that means that it's also much harder to pick the lock. The locks come with two keys per lock, nut with thread locker, latch, anti-slip washer, hex nut, o-ring for weatherproofing, and the cam lock cylinder. All right, now before you order these, you wanna make sure to do some measurements to get the right size. The first thing that you need to figure out is the size of your hole. In order for the latch at once to work, it should be about three quarters of an inch. And to measure the lock size that you need, what you're going to do is measure from the edge right here to the edge over here. Lastly, you should also measure the door thickness to make sure that it is properly gonna fit. So the first step we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the old locks. And all you're really gonna need is some channel locks and a screwdriver, Phillips hat. All right, so now we're ready to install the cam lock. So what we're gonna do is place the old lifting mechanism on. You can, you don't have to. And then after that, I'm gonna put the little O-ring that is supplied with it. All right. I'm gonna slide that through, just like that. Then we're gonna take this little hex nut and put it Right on. Now you want that nice and tight, but you also don't want to crush the door itself. Once we got that situated, we're going to put the little anti slip washer in there. Now when you go ahead and put this locking washer in, make sure that you place it in this position right here, because if not, that's gonna dictate how your key turns and when it stops. And if you put it the wrong way, like I did 15 times, then when you try to unlock it, you're not gonna be able to pull your key out. And lastly, you're gonna just tighten everything up. I think 
looks good to me. Last stop is to test it with the new keys. Make sure that everything fits correctly. It seems like it's a, a little bit too tight because it's not moving freely. So I'm just gonna loosen it up just a little bit. There we go, much better. Now that we have it set up, we can go ahead and test the key and make sure that everything fits properly. Close the door. There you go, you got a good fit. Now that we have that one done, I can go ahead and move on to the other side. I'm gonna choose to uh, put a lock on this also because somebody can just come in, unlock this, put their fingers behind and just rip the door open. So for a little added security, I'm gonna go ahead and do this door. Then I'll move to the other side to the outdoor kitchen and do that door as well. All right, there you have it, a nice simple install that will give you that added protection while you're camping. Now, if you decide to go with these blocks, make sure to go through the Latchet website and use our Fireside discount code. That code is also good for all of their products, so if you choose to do a keyless door system or any of their other products, make sure to add that at checkout as well. We'll also link the videos right above you to some of their other products that we've done, such as the LEDs, the key lift and the regular door lock. If you purchase these locks or any of their other products, comment down below, let us know how you like them. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It lets us know to keep doing these videos. Until next time, see you guys.